guys! So, what I wanted to do today was make a video that a lot of my friends and family members, or I should say quite a few of them, have suggested that I make because they're very interested in what I'm going to be talking about, which is, as you can tell from the title, my DVD collection. I have a spending problem when it comes to DVDs. I haven't purchased any in a good while, so I think that I'm doing okay. But with the collection that I have built up over the years, I thought it would be fun to go through all of them and share them with all of you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So up first, since it takes the most amount of time, I wanted to get started with my seasons, uh, my collections of DVDs of TV series. So, uh, the first one that I have here is, <laughs> takes up the most space, you'll see why, is the Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, we're starting off on a really crazy note. Little House on the Prairie, uh, entire box set seasons. Um, the whole series, I've got season one through season nine plus the uh, the three movies that aired after the season, um, after the final season because they were canceled so then a few years later to tie everything up and blow up the entire set so nobody else could use it. They came out with these three movies. So yeah, I've got those. <laughs> and then um, yeah, so then over here, oofda. I've only got two seasons of Full House, but, um, looking for more, so we're going to be getting more of those. And, of course, I've got the complete series of The Magic School Bus on DVD, obviously. This cost me a pretty penny, probably like $50, but it was so worth it because it came with this little, like, let's see here. Like this little um, activities book, parents guide, and I just think that that's super cool. Um, and the show is actually like really, really good. It is on Netflix too, but whatever. I'm a DVD person. And if all of these, and if any of these are on Netflix, I will be sure to mention it because everybody's always interested in that more than they are in actually purchasing anything. Then I've got the full series of the Brady Bunch on DVD. I'm really retro when it comes to seasons because. Um, a lot of new TV series uh, that I enjoy, I haven't purchased the seasons yet because they're still on TV, or I just don't like them, or what have you. So all of my seasons that I have of TV series are pretty much older than also older. The Addams Family, I've got the complete series of this because I just love The Addams Family. It's classic, and... I actually haven't even opened some of these yet. You'll you'll see that's a trend. Then I've got a pup named Scooby Doo. If you remember that, I've got the complete first, second, third, and fourth seasons, and I think that that's all of them. Yeah. If this isn't like a total throwback to you, then what are you doing with your life? I've got the first season of Twenty One Jump Street which I really like. It's pretty, it's a pretty interesting series, but I don't know if that's just because young Johnny Depp is in it, and he's really hot. The world may never know. I've got Ancient Aliens. I think this is the, yep, season one. I'll definitely get more seasons of this, though, because great show. The Monsters, complete first season. I don't know how many seasons there are, but this one's like kind of cool. It opens like this, like a coffin or something. Um, but I would definitely get the other seasons of that as well. Then over here, uh oh, this is gonna fall down. Ah! Um, I've got the entire series of Army Wives because oh, it is one of the best shows I've ever seen. Every single episode made me cry. And I know that it's all on Netflix right now, and they did just do, well, maybe a little while ago, a movie to tie up the series. But I haven't watched it yet, and I, I think it's because it's not on Netflix and I missed it when it was on TV. So I missed it, didn't see it, but I know that that's out there too. And yeah, great series, one of my absolute favorites. Let's see what fell behind me. Oh, I've got season one, volume one of 
Whose Line Is It Anyway, the Drew Carey hosted uh, version of the series. Um, and it's just hilarious every single episode. Unfortunately, these volume one, there are two volumes per se season, and they are like $20 a piece. So for one season, it's like $40 plus shipping, and that's off of Amazon, getting it really cheap, so I don't, I don't know if it's worth it, that's why I only have volume one, but so funny that it might just have to be changed, and I might have to get some more. I've got the complete series of Married with Children, another throwback, very funny, but not something I would recommend binge watching, because all of the jokes kind of get a little old. I've got a lot of Scooby-Doo, the first and second season of the original, and the third. And then what's new Scooby-Doo, I've got seasons one, two, and three. I'm not sure where the first one is, but I do have those. Uh, I do also enjoy Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, which is on Netflix, but I have not purchased it yet. I've got Liberty's Kids. This is another throwback. I know it was on... PBS Kids, Channel 2, if you're in Minnesota, and this was really, really good. I loved the show when I was younger, and I bought it when I was an adult um, a few years ago, and this cost me like $65, and I was like, oh, it's so expensive, but it's so worth it, and then I found it at Walmart, or Target, a couple of days later for like $7 for the entire series, so that's life. I've got Degrassi High. You know, if you like Degrassi, then there you go. And also Degrassi Junior High, which this is the, not the original, I think there was Kids of Degrassi Street first, which I have not seen, but it went that, Degrassi Junior High, Degrassi High, and then Modern Day Degrassi, which is over there too. I will get to that soon. Boy Meets World, the complete series. I, as you can see, have not opened any of these yet because I just have not been able or ready to emotionally invest myself. Could you stop? to emotionally invest myself in watching another series and watching nothing but that series for a very long time. I just haven't been ready to do it, so... Oh boy. I've got the first season of ni the 90210, the, um, not the original, the new one, as obviously, as you can tell. Um, and then, let's get this up before it falls. I've got Gossip Girl. My beautiful, wonderful sister gave me this. Thank you, Ashley. And, yeah, it, like, comes off like this, and then they're all in here. Once again, though, I have not gotten around to watching any of them because I just can't make myself do that right now. I just, it's so, it's such a commitment to binge watch sh shows that are that long. I've also got The Walking Dead here, the first season, because the other ones are still really expensive, so I have not gotten around to watch buying the other four, and I know they're on Netflix too. I've got Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer seasons 1, 2, and 3, and 2 and 3 have not been opened yet, but um, really good series. I would get more of those someday when I have more money, but it's not a top priority. And then, oh sweet, we're almost done with these. I'm trying to go through them really fast. Um, Doodle Bops. Once again, I don't know if you remember this, but whoever made this show, they were, must have been on some kind of drug because it's just, it's absolutely insane. And the colors and the costumes, madness. But it's still, it's really good. And it brings me back some good memories. And of Green Gables, the animated series. I've got, they don't sell the full seasons. I don't even know if there were seasons of this. Um, they just have volumes with a few episodes on them. Oh, two episodes on each of these. Whatever. I wish that there was more, that there were more on DVD, but I couldn't find any. I've also been looking for, on a related note, Sagwa, the Chinese Siamese cat. 
I have been looking and looking and looking and I can't find it on DVD and I would love the full season or series. Then I've got Hey Arnold season one, also a throwback, but I bought it thinking, oh wow, I will love to watch this again because this was one of my favorite shows. It was a big letdown. It was not as good as I remembered and they all like, it, I just, meh. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. It's got a few episodes, seven episodes on here. I wish it was more, but it, these seven episodes are worth however much money I had to spend on these. Also, just as a, as a note, I buy a lot of these used on Amazon, and I've only had like two problems when it comes to um, getting them and having them be in good shape or in the condition that they were described. So, it's I think it's worth it because you do end up saving a lot of money if you do the math right and the shipping and everything. Then here I got I have what is it Goosebumps. I've got all almost all of the Goosebumps um, TV show, and yeah, the, a lot of them are in here in the Horrorland collection. But then these are all just individual episodes and they're all really really good. I wish I had more. Also, I watched the Goosebumps movie in theaters today with Jack Black. It's absolutely hilarious, especially if you read the books or watch the movies like I did as a kid because you get all the little references and you're like, oh my gosh, I read that book. I know what that monster is. It was just, it was a lot of fun and it was super, super funny. And my favorite my favorite show that I've ever watched in my life, Monk. <laughs> I've got Monk here in all its glory, in all its beautiful white and red packaging. Matches my lips. And um, yeah, seriously, best show. Best show. That's it. And then last two, uh, when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to series of shows, I have Soap, the complete series, which is really, really funny, and I highly, highly recommend it, and it was, it was a great 70s classic show, um, if that interests you at all. Speaking of classic shows, I've got Cheers seasons 1 and 2, and I would definitely be interested in buying more. Okay, so before I forget to mention it, I also, I said I had Degrassi. Your girl didn't lie to you. I have Degrassi. I have um, seasons ah, 1 through 7 in my collection. This season 7 doesn't look like the other ones. The other ones are the old packaging and this is the new packaging. And of course Degrassi is like my second or third it's in my top five favorite series of all time, and I haven't been able to bring myself to watch the new episodes just because when um, Emma and Manny and um, Paige finally left, it was just kind of like, I don't know how I feel, because I had started to like the new characters and everything too, but I'm just not sure yet. So um, since it's, it is being move to Netflix soon. I'll probably buy the other seasons on DVD, but I'm not sure yet. So now I'm going to talk about the horror movies that I have. Turns out I don't have as many as I thought, probably because I, um, they're pretty easy to sell, <laughs> uh, like to FYE or online or whatever. They're pretty easy to sell, and so I have sold a lot of them recently to get some money because, you know, money problems, who doesn't have money problems, and yeah, so I have sold a few, but we've got some here. I've got, I'm going to go through these really fast. I've got Scream, I've got Urban Legend, classic in my opinion. I've got uh, Grave Dancers, which is one of the eight films to die for from the After Dark Horror Fest. You're going to see a lot of really low-grade movies here. I've got Premonition with Sandra Bullock, I've got Van Helsing, I wasn't sure if I should count this as a horror movie or not because, you know, 
it's romantic and also dramatic and whatever, but I put it in here anyway. I've got Sweeney Todd, which is one of my all-time favorites, even though it's not like your typical horror movie, considering there's music and Professor Snape and whatever, but still good. I have, what is this? Oh, Dracula, obviously, the Gary Oldman version with Winona Ryder. Uh, and then here I have The Lost Boys, which is not out of its packaging, not because I haven't watched it, but because I had an older version, and I got this one instead because it was a two disc, and I sold the other one. So I have The Lost Boys, classic! I have The Ring, and I know I have The Ring too, but I don't know if it's here or not, but I don't think it is. Offspring, which is another, it's a Ghost House Underground movie. One of the best um, uh, horror indie movies that I've ever seen. Ghost Ship. That beginning, though. Seventh Moon, which is not very good, but not the worst. The Children. That was a good one. The Children. Another Ghost House Underground movie. Speaking of children... I've got Children of the Corn here, the first one, the original, which is absolutely my favorite. He wants you to, Malachi. And I know I have the other ones down here. Oh, right here. Ugh. Right here, I've got um, Children of the Corn 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, which is too many Stephen King. That, don't be greedy. Da, da. That's what I get for trying to tell Stephen King not to be greedy. I love him, though. Snow White. You might be thinking, what? Horror? This is a horror, a horror movie version of Snow White. Very nice. I think it was a TV movie. The uh, Final Destination, which was my favorite movie for a few years. I've got Stephen King's Rose Red, which was a... It was actually like a, a mini-series on TV, and I believe it was too. <gasps> Where is it? Oh no, I think I forgot it. The movie It by Stephen King I also have, but it's probably down there in the pile. It's so hard to look through them really fast. I've got Hide and Seek, which is very good, a lot more psychological. Speaking of psychological. <laughs> I've got Psycho, Psycho 2, Psycho 3, and Psycho 4, but there's a little catch with these. I only watch them when it rains, when it's like rainstorm, almost hailing type rain. That's when I watch them. Unrest, which is a pretty good one, one of the After Dark Horror Fest movies. Rosemary's Baby, classic, classic, classic. Phantom of the, why did I put this in here? Phantom of the Opera. It's not a horror movie. The Others, also not, yeah, you know. Stag Night, I watched this with my sister the first time, Ashley, and we got it on a red box. Bought that immediately after. Some old, um, some oldies but goodies, um, from the 60s, I think it is. I think it's the 60s. Just a couple Christopher Lee movies, Horror Express and Dark Places. I can't say anything about these because I've only seen one of them, which is The Ginger Dead Man, which is as wonderful as it sounds. So good. So, so good. Um, but there's The Prophecy, Scarecrow, Hindsight, Cruel World, Ginger Dead Man, Howling 4, Disturbed and Inside. Speaking of Disturbed, I didn't even do this on purpose, and it just keeps flowing. Disturbia, which isn't really a horror movie, but it is definitely a thriller, so I put it in there. And The Wicker Man, and everybody makes fun of this movie, but I don't know why, because Nicolas Cage is perfection in it. But, you know, a lot of people... Okay, now I'm thinking of a couple that I didn't mention. Let me go see if I can find those, and I will be right back. So, I knew I forgot some, didn't know how many. I know I'm still missing one, so not sure where that is. I'm, the one I'm missing is called From Hell with Johnny Depp, and 
It's about Jack the Ripper, not sure where it is, but I've also got Mortuary here, which is one of my favorites. So bad, but so good. I knew I had the ring too. Stir of Echoes, which once again, more like a thriller. Put it in anyway. Wicked Little Things, After Dark Horror Fest, Scream, Dos. The Abandoned, which I don't remember, so must not be very good. I knew I had it because it's one of my favorites. I do believe it was a miniseries because otherwise it is a really, really long movie. Like, really long. It even comes with two discs. Like, you've got to flip the disc over in order to watch it, which is funny, I think. An American Haunting. Very good. Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp. Damien, the Omen 2, because in my opinion, it is the best Omen. Which you don't say that very much about number twos, but... <laughs> number twos. Then I've got Room 205, Ghost House Underground. Not, not the best, I don't really remember it. This baby, <laughs> literally, Blessed. Oh, one of those where it's so bad that it's just like really funny but also very good. So those are the other horror movies that I have. Then we get into my kiddo movies, movies for kids or that I watched when I was a kid. And um, realistically, I have a few others that I could put in here, but I think that they're more family features, so I'm going to put them in a different section. But I've got The Lion King one and a half. I have The Water Horse, Hairspray, Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2. I don't have any of the others because Macaulay Culkin isn't in it, or in them. I think there are like four others, but Heidi, which is my favorite for a lot of reasons that are personal and lovely. Another R.L. Stein movie, mostly ghostly with young Madison Pettis and Lindsay Lohan's sister. The Wizard of Oz. Could have been considered a family feature, but Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. These are both like the oldest versions. Hansel and Gretel. Um, I've got Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo 2, which I both really, which I love a lot. I've got Casper with Christina Ricci. I've got Holes with Shia LaBeouf. I've got Raise Your Voice, and the Lizzie McGuire movie, which I've heard people say is the worst movie ever made. Thoroughly disagree. The Trumpet of the Swan. I don't know if you remember it. It looks like this. If you can see that. I don't know if anybody else has ever seen that, but... 13 Going on 30, which I love. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen with Lilo. Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders, which is my favorite Scooby-Doo movie of that time. Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2, which I've already watched this fall season. The Cat in the Hat. Very funny with Mike Myers. Shrek 2. I've got um, American Girl Doll, Samantha. Or American Girl Doll, American Girl Holiday with Samantha, Sea Spot Run, a classic with David Arquette, in my opinion, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original, Sleepover, which, yes, I paid for this with my own money, my real own money, <laughs> and I love it so much, so, so, so much, even though everybody kind of makes fun of it for being really campy and whatever. But I love Alexa Penavega. Hook. And Before Time, Barbie Fairytopia, speaking of Alexa Penavega, start Spy Kids 1, 2, and 3, and then I have Aladdin, I have RV, I have Barbie as Rapunzel, Never Ending Story 1 and 2, I thought that when I was buying this that one of these was the one that I wanted. Turns out it wasn't. My favorite is the third one, which I do not own. Uh, Around the World in 80 Days, which is so cute. The Little Mermaid. Mulan. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Ella Enchanted. One of my favorites of all time. Barbie. Um, 
Barbie as Swan Lake. Picture this. Once again, paid for it with my own money. Love it so much. Um, Cinderella Story with Hilary Duff. The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. So, so funny. Princess Diaries 1 and 2. And really hoping that someday they make a third one. Really, really, really hoping. Hercules. Lilo and Stitch. And then we've got um, collections of classic, classic Christmas movies that I absolutely love. Alright, then I've got my Mary-Kate and Ashley movies collection. I've got pretty much all, and I don't have every single one, um, but I have Winning London, Billboard Dad, Our Lips Are Sealed, New York Minute, which was their last one that they did together, Passport to Paris, Winning London Passport Holiday in the Sun, When in Rome, another When in Rome, and The Challenge, which is my personal favorite. I've got Tarzan, Shrek the Third. Once again, you can't tell what this is, but it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. The Polar Express with Tom Hanks. The Little Vampire, which I just, I love that movie, still love it. Life Size, Lilo and Tyra. Queens, yes. No, I dropped some. A series of unfortunate events, which I hear is going to be made into a series. Uh, the Wild Thornberries movie, which you never knew you wanted it until now. Finding Nemo. Can't wait for Finding Dory. A Bug's Life. I've got Smart House. Read It and Weep, which again, everybody says that this movie's terrible. I think it's awesome. Tom Brown's School Days, which you've probably never heard of. It's a British movie. Um, Tuck Everlasting, once again, in my top ten. I've got a lot of really cheesy movies in my top ten, but then a lot of really... I've got a very a wide variety of taste. Uh, Little Princess and the Secret Garden. Shark Tale. Everyone's like, oh, that's a ripoff of Finding Nemo. No, it's not. It's nothing like it. Bridge to Terabithia. High School Musical 1 and 2. Fun fact, I played Martha Cox, the brainy, hefty girl that dances on the table in 6th grade in the musical. The Indian in the Cupboard. Gotta get the ones that I dropped. Uh, apparently it was only two of them that I dropped, but Ice Princess and Beauty and the Beast, Belle's Magical World. And that's it for my kids' movies. I've got, these are the, like, um, just kind of feel like family movies that I would say. Twilight, Twilight, Breaking One, Breaking Dawn Part One, The Goonies, The Parent Trap, Now and Then, My Girl and My Girl 2. I watched this movie with my sister Emily first, My Girl, and I cried and cried and cried. Stepmom, another movie where everyone cries and cries and cries. Uh, Autumn or August Rush. Um, Forrest Gump, of course. The Breakfast Club. Grease. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Jumanji. Legally Blonde. All of the Legally Blondes are on Netflix. Mrs. Doubtfire. Yours, Mine, and Ours. Juno, Pleasantville, Cheaper by the Dozen 1 and 2, Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, Bring It On, the first three, Little Monsters, Teen Wolf and Teen Wolf 2, Mean Girls, and then we've got some comedies. The Money Pit, hilarious. Son in Law. You either love Polly Shore or you hate Polly Shore, and I love him. My Best Friend's Wedding, My Fake Fiance, the show that spawned Melissa and Joey. Um, Austin Powers, Austin Powers, Austin Powers. The Unrated Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Tommy Boy. 
just one of the guys, which is essentially like she's the man. It's the older version of she's the man. Wedding Crashers. The first three American Pies. Weird Science. Really funny. Um, the Last American Virgin. Also really funny. Me, Myself, and Irene. Which I think is pretty underrated. I think it's really, really funny for Jim, especially like, you know, Jim Carrey funny. Uh, Popeye. Back to the Future. All three. Shallow Hell. Liar Liar, Bride Wars, which I love, I've got Rush Hour and Rush Hour 2, I have White Chicks, First Wives Club, Never Been Kissed, speaking of, She's the Man, I've got Big Daddy, Bridesmaids, Meet the Parents, and Meet the Fockers. Okay, so now we just have a few things left. We've got the dramas, the straight up dramas. We've got Finder's Fee, Riding in the Car with Boys, or Riding in Cars with Boys, I should say. Life of Pi, Life as a House, highly recommend this one. Interview with the Vampire, The Outsiders, Cruel Intentions, Sleeping with the Enemy, The Virgin Suicides, another one I would highly, highly recommend, No One Would Tell with Candace Cameron, Bure, um, Normal Adolescent Behavior, Havoc 2, Mean Creek, Marley and Me, and I know that Marley and Me is a little bit more than just a drama, but it just made me cry a lot, so it's there, Cruel Intent, or... Girl Interrupted, My Brain Is Going, My Brain Is Going, Little Miss Sunshine, Cute Little Abigail Breslin is in this, Uptown Girls, Stand By Me, and The Devil's Arithmetic. Now over here I've got Romances, Can't Buy Me Love, Pride and Prejudice, A Walk to Remember, When Harry Met Sally, so cute, The Lake House, William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet with Leo DiCaprio. I've got Valley Girl and the Sure Thing, Young Nick Cage, Just Married, Ever After, A Cinderella Story with Drew Barrymore, Dirty Dancing, Special Edition, Along Came Polly, Valentine's Day, and I, honestly, while I'm at it, I'm not a very big fan of Along Came Polly, but whatever, it's, it's there. The Notebook. Titanic, and we've got 16 Candles, and She's All That, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, It Could Happen to You, More Nick Cage, 51st Dates, almost done, Must Love Dogs, then we've got a quadruple feature, My Boss's Daughter, Wishful Thinking, About Adam, and Down to You, and I love, love, love down to you. I think it's a really, really beautiful story. Say Anything with John Cusack, The Wedding Singer, um, You've Got Mail, The Princess Bride, Upwards or Downwards, it spells the same thing. I think that's really cool packaging, really cool design, Just Like Heaven. And then I've got the ones that were either like more action-y or I couldn't put them into a category. The Hunger Games, I've got the first, the original three Star Wars trilogy, um, that was really bad grammar. <laughs> I've got Lord of the Rings, all of them, obviously. They're really, really cheap now at Walmart, they're like $5 a piece, which I think is like horrible, especially since I paid probably like $20 uh, for each of them. Then I've got Transformers. National Treasure 1 and 2, um, X-Men Origins Wolverine, and then the original X-Men Trilogy, and we've got The Mask of Zorro, and Pirates of the Caribbean 1, 2, and 3. All good things must come to an end 
and I thought I'd end it with the only thing you will ever need in any movie collection, which is the Harry Potter series. I can't tell you which one is my favorite because they all are for different way for different reasons and in different ways. So I thought I think that this is the best way that I could end this excruciatingly long video. If you have stuck around with me until this point, thank you so much and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to see another video like this, please like this video and give me a comment below telling me that you want to see another one like this because I've got plenty of books that um, I could do in a big long video like this as well. If there are any movies that you think that I missed, that I need to see, that I am just insane for not putting in my collection, please also write me a comment about that below. Tell me what your favorite movies are. And I think that's really it. I'm going to start making videos consistently. I'm thinking every Tuesday and Thursday, but we'll see how it goes until the end of the year. And yeah, so if you want to stick around for that and see what else I have to offer, then I would love to hang out with you. So feel free to give me a subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment, share the video, whatever you want to do. And if you don't want to do any of that, then that's fine too. But it would be nice to have you along for the ride for my beginning of this YouTube journey that I'm going to be starting. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. Please just be nice to each other and keep having a wonderful day or a wonderful night whenever it is that you're watching. And that's it. That's everything. Bye!